FIFA is gearing up to launch a blockchain-based football collectible platform dubbed FIFA Plus Collect. The platform for digital collectibles will be unveiled in time for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. A newly announced NFT platform will allow football fans the chance to own digital collectibles, including the greatest game moments and the Women's World Cup imagery. The platform was built by Algorand in partnership with FIFA. Luckily for you, Nugget Lover, we've got everything covered for you. Find out here everything you want to know about FIFA launching NFT platform on Algorand for World Cup 2022. Keep watching this video to know more. Before we get into this video, let us give you a little background about FIFA in case you don't know it. The World Cup is organized by the Federation Internationale de Football Association and is a tournament with 32 teams. It determines who the best men's football national team in the world is. It's likely the most popular sporting event, drawing billions of viewers every tournament. The World Cup is every four years, which allows enough time for qualification tournaments and playoffs among national teams to take place. Four years also makes it possible for the host country to plan and prepare our logistics of the tournament, including how to best accommodate an influx of millions of fans. The prize money for the World Cup is provided by FIFA, an international non-profit. FIFA fares well due to their high bids for television, marketing, and licensing rights of major football events that they organize. FIFA does not incur expenses for the construction of World Cup infrastructure because those are placed on the host country. The FIFA World Cup is the most popular sports event in the world. The tournament determines who will become the world champion of soccer. The Women's World Cup tournament plays a similar role for women's football. The first cup competition was organized in 1930 by FIFA. It has been held every four years since that time except during World War II. The current cup consists of international tournaments leading to a final elimination event with 32 teams. Any player, regardless of age or amateur status, can play for the World Cup without any nationality restrictions. Referees are selected from a list submitted by the national associations. Now that you know all of these things, let's now talk about FIFA and Algorand. As one of the most popular sports in the world, creating opportunities for fans to interact with their favorite players with a global fan base was needed. FIFA has announced plans to launch their new NFT platform called FIFA Plus Collect on the Algorand blockchain. The reason behind this decision is that current Ethereum and Solana networks are much too slow to keep up with the football-related transactions. For now, we know it will be possible to use the FIFA back token FIFA Plus, but more information will be released as the World Cup draws near. Algorand, a blockchain tech company, has signed a sponsorship deal with FIFA. They will become the first new sponsor in 11 years and will sponsor the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Algorand is green and uses blockchain technology to meet the demanding requirements set by FIFA. It is reported that the new NFT on the platform will be affordable and would represent important moments during the event. Focused on fan engagement, the new expansion project will allow people to have a greater connection with their favorite players. Just like sports memorabilia and stickers, this is an accessible opportunity for fans around the world to engage with their favorite players, moments, and more on new platforms, he said. The competition is expected to start later this month and players can expect more information on what type of NFTs will be involved in the collection that will be launched at the launch. Algorand executives are pleased with the commitment made by FIFA to create a Web3 connection. It will help ensure a seamless and more engaging experience for investors and fans worldwide. The presence of crypto firms like Crypto.com in world sporting events such as the World Cup in Qatar points to how cryptocurrencies are now taking center stage across the world. The company refused a $495 million sponsorship deal with UEFA. Even though crypto is prohibited in Qatar and the event is not being broadcast there, it will be watched by millions of people who are enthusiastic about crypto and blockchain. Silvio Michali, an MIT professor and Turing award-winning cryptographer, created a new type of chain that uses drastically less energy. He called it the ecologically friendly proof-of-stake blockchain. 
Algorand token ALGO price increases by 20% after the news, reaching 0.72 cents. What are FIFA NFTs? While collecting items for the World Cup is less common, there is a long tradition that focuses on programs and other memorabilia. Fans of the sport are willing to pay high prices for collectibles, which they'll eventually boast about. FIFA NFTs take the idea of collecting to the next level. Due to FIFA's partnership with Algorand, the two firms have worked together to create a strategy for introducing cryptocurrency. This combination has led to a blockchain-based wallet for football fans. From the beginning, Algorand has focused on building technology that promotes inclusivity, opportunity, and transparency for all, said Silvio Micali. This partnership with FIFA, the most globally recognized and distinguished organization in sports, will showcase the potential that the Algorand blockchain has to transform the way we all experience the world's game. The FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand will also be sponsored by Algorand in 2023. The value of a sponsorship contract is currently unknown, but the total revenue objective that FIFA has for the current four-year cycle ending in Qatar is set at seven billion dollars the majority of fifa's revenue comes from world cup related sponsorships and licensing arrangements for the television marketing and hospitality industries johnson and johnson is the last american sponsor to have signed on for the world cup in brazil in 2014. this is the first time algorand has responded to the world cup and the company seems to have high hopes for the future the technology they use focuses on sustainability and transparency, which means they're able to avoid scandals like other companies. Algorand has also announced the acquisition of Napster, a digital music service. In addition to partnering with LimeWire, Algorand will be using its acquisition. What are FIFA NFTs based on the latest updates? The details of FIFA NFTs are still unclear, but what is known is that they will capture memorable moments in the tournaments. It is likely to be expensive. However, there will be a chance for all fans to participate. On the FIFA Plus Collect platform, you can find FIFA NFTs and purchase any that catch your eye. The platform is set to officially launch later in September and you will be able to access it from the FIFA Plus site. What is blockchain? The use of blockchain technology has enabled data to be recorded and distributed securely across the internet. This promotes innovation and secures exchange of different types of assets, including non-fungible tokens and digital assets. This system uses blocks to store data. Each block can hold a set of input data and when the block is full, it is closed and linked to the preceding block. These chains are created from the data called blockchain. Bitcoin blocks can be used as digital wallets and include information about the sender, receiver, and the amount of bitcoins to be transferred. House Cryptocurrency in Qatar Cryptocurrency is an internet-based decentralized digital form of money which does not require regulation to exist and can be freely traded. The Central Bank of Qatar prohibits banks from investing in cryptocurrencies and issued a warning to all interested parties. The circular went into effect in February 2018 but the legal framework that prohibits banking institutions from trading Bitcoin is still unclear. Bitcoin is illegal and not supported by any bank or government according to the circular. Recently, Qatari authorities have closed banks from trading cryptocurrency because of the risk that it will be used to facilitate financial crimes. They also mentioned that it may have a high degree of volatility due to the large swings in coin prices. There is hope that this may change as the Qatar Investment Authority's executive officer, Mansour bin Ibrahim Al Mahmoud, told Bloomberg in 2021 of June that Qatar is currently avoiding investing in cryptocurrencies because of the speculation surrounding them. It's not something that we're excited about. We need a bit of maturity before our view on investing in that space, said Al Mahmoud. Other crypto organizations are now sponsoring football teams. For instance, Whalefin sponsored Chelsea and Tezo sponsored Manchester United. That's it for this video, Nugget Lover. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!